morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Yesterday I posted a um, remark that emulsifies it, about emulsifies it. And people sat there and uh, told me to take it down and that it was wrong, it was a lie, because it's a glue. I was bringing this information to you. So I proceeded to do a lot of research, more research, okay? Now some of these, uh, let me get something to show you. Soyolecithin, granular soyolecithin. I always have this in the kitchen. I eat it. It's two B vitamins. And you know what it does? It eats fat up. That's all it does is eat fat up. Your liver produces one tablespoon a day of this. Now, the two B vitamins, I'm not gonna tell you what they are because you probably could just go and take those two and you can't take a couple of B vitamins. You must take them all together to work. But this, I keep in the house cook with it, make gravy, put some of this in, it eats the fat up. That's all it does. That's so you left this. That's at the top and that's natural. Now, I'm going to start reading these and I'm probably going to have to spell half of them because I cannot state and read them properly. Carriage in is an extract from red seaweed and it's better known as Irish moss. Well, it's seaweed, so I guess that would be good for you. Mono de glycerides. Now, according to our FDA, they say it's safe, but it comes naturally in seeds, but in a very, very, very low, low amount. Okay, but they should extract that and make it in a higher amount. This one, <laughs> we're really gonna have to over this one. Carboxy cellulose. Okay. All right, now this is a thickening agent made by reacting, and hey, listen what this one's got in it. Wood pulp, cotton lint, with the acid of vinegar. Isn't it nice to know that they're putting wood pulp and cotton lint in the foods? All right, now look, I did all this research. This is not me. When I posted that video on home, uh, um, America's Home Cooking on Facebook, I took that video and that came from London. It was not a fake. It was given information that emulsifiers, emulsifiers are fat. All right, polysobate. I think I got that one right. Uh, this is derived from here we go again. Isolated, sorbentin, and it's esterified with fatty acids. Okay, I gave those to you. The only one I trust on this whole list is soy lecithin because I eat it. I know about it. Now, before I tell you what they're where they put this food, I'm gonna tell you about them. A study about emulsifier, they found out it increases the risk of inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's diseases, ulcerated colitis, which could lead to severe symptoms. They also found out that emulsifiers cause obesity-related conditions like type two diabetes and cardiovascular and liver diseases. Now, does that sound like it's healthy for you? Like I said, I'll eat this. Now, another study, these are recent studies. A study found two synthetic emulsifiers. Now they say, now this people were chewing my tail out. I took, I took that video, it was a short 23 second one. I took it down because I figured I was gonna do all this research. They, they were telling me I was wrong that you could eat this stuff. 
giving me the whole act that it was a lie. Take it. I just said, well, you know what? I'll explain myself better. Now, a study found two of these synthetic emulsifiers, carboxymethylcellulose and polysorbate, drastically affect the gut microbes the microbes in your digestive system, micro, microbiome, by one. In other words, your digestive system in your intestines, and when it does that, it, you can't get the food into your body, okay? And it increases the risk of inflammation of the bowels. A lot of people are having trouble with food. Of course, I'm a liar and, and take the stuff down that I'm not helping people. I did all this research last night. Matter of fact, I didn't go to bed till two o'clock this morning and it's four. So I'm a little peeved, I am. I don't go and put something out there for the heck of it to upset people. Now I'm gonna tell you where they where they put it. Care well, soy lecithin. I eat it, so I don't know. I didn't even bother to look to see where that is because that's natural. I could pack it in with no problem. Carag, carag, no, wait a minute, let me try again. Carragenin, now here's where they, this one is. You find it in nuts, soy milks, deli meat, protein drinks, yogurts, popsicles, prepared meals, ice cream, frozen pizza and burritos, and infant formulas, infant formulas. I mean, the children, don't even get a fighting chance. Monodiglycerides, rides, well, I can't pronounce them, that you find that in bread, tortillas, baked goods, nut butters, margarine, shortening, mayonnaise, coffee creamers. And you wonder why it goes the hard way. Carboxymen. Catholic. You find that in uh, menthol y cellulose. You find it in candy, ice cream, salad dressing, cheeses, gelatin, and infant formulas. There goes another one. Polysorbate. I think that's the only one I can pronounce in this whole group. You find this in shortening, margarine, peanut butter, dry mixes, ice cream, dairy proteins, and baked goods. Now I'll spell these words. You can look it all up, okay? All right, the first one is spelled C-A-R-R-A-G-E-E-N-A-N. -E -E all right, now here's the second one. The second one is M-O-N-O -O hyphen D-I-G-L-Y-C-E-R-I-D-E-S. Ugh, I hate this one. Number three, C A R B O X Y M E T H Y I C E L L U L O S. And number four, one, two, three, yeah, is P O L G S O B A T E. Now those are emulsifiers. So, as I said, and I took from, and the British are doing studies on these things. Emulsifiers are glues, if you like it or not. Call it by any other name. It's all out there. Okay, so listen, have a nice day. And maybe I'll do some baking today, because yesterday I was in the kitchen all day. Bye-bye.